Hey, Ben Lippin Middle School students. This is Kirkland here. It's good to be back with you after spring break. I hope you had a good break. Um, believe it or not, it's been five weeks since we've been on campus together, and a lot has happened over these five weeks. And so you may have found yourself having experienced a lot of emotions um, going in and out of how you're feeling. I know that, that I have. And um, as I was thinking about what I wanted to share with you this morning, I wanted to just remind you of um, how important it is for us to take care of ourselves, even sometimes when we don't feel like it. Um, but it's really important that we take some effort to take care of ourselves. And that includes all of ourselves. We're dynamic people. We have different parts to who we are. And I've given you this little um, picture. It's just an example of um, how you can look at yourself, that there is a spiritual side of yourself, relational side of yourself, mental, emotional side of yourself, and a physical side of yourself. All of this plays into how you are doing and how you are managing this difficult time. And so I've been giving you some tips, um, and certainly not all of these are gonna work for everybody. The main thing is that you get into the mindset of thinking about yourself as um, having different parts to who you are. And that if you neglect taking care of one part, it's gonna impact the other parts. So today's tips, we're gonna run through them. You can add them to your list um, and see if they work for you. The first one here is an idea to create something called a gratitude wall or um, some something of that nature. And um, like when we practice thankfulness, when we continually come before the Lord and we are thankful and we look around and we search out things to be thankful for, it pleases God. Um, he is a giver of all good gifts. Now this does not mean, and I'm not saying that we pretend like everything is okay. Everything is not okay. Um, we're, we're all going through difficult times and some of us more so than others. But even in the middle of those hard times, especially in the middle of those hard times, it is important to search out things that we can be thankful for. And, and write them down so we don't forget. And so our family yesterday started a, a thankfulness wall, or you can call it whatever you want to, but we're just essentially writing down um, something on a sheet of paper. We're posting it up for this entire week, and we're going to be reminding ourselves of things that we can be thankful for, even in the middle of the terrible situation that we're finding ourselves in. Okay, relationship tip. Um, this week, um, I want to invite you to encourage somebody each day. Encouragement is huge, especially where we are right now. I think that we're all starting to feel um, some just fatigue over being at home so long. And so one thing we can do is encourage people. And so this week, I invite you to set out to encourage somebody every day. That does something for you. It actually will promote a better feeling within you. And it definitely is going to serve other people and, and be good for your friendships. You can do this through pictures, letters, text, um, all types of things, phone calls, uh, FaceTime, any of those things. You can encourage the, the postal service, the waste management service, somebody that you know that would need encouragement and set out to do something for them um, I, is a great way to build into your relationships this week. Right here, I wanna talk about how you can um, take care of your mental well-being, and it is to read inspiring stories. You know, human beings are incredibly resilient, and there are countless stories out there of people who have been through terrible situations, and when we read their stories, several things happen inside of us with our, our thinking. Um, one thing that happens is we're provided perspective. And it's not belittling what we're going through, but it provides perspective on what we're going through. And also, we can get ideas of what these people have done and use some of those ideas. And we can borrow courage from people who've been through terrible times and come out on the other side of them. So this week, I want you to look for some stories from people who've been through hard times and learn from them, be encouraged by them, and gain courage by them. 
All right, finally, I want us to take a look at something we can do to take care of our physical bodies. And this week, I'm going to talk about sleep. Um, guys, don't underestimate the power of sleep. You all need about nine hours of good sleep. And so during this time, I encourage you to learn about sleep hygiene. That's simply learning routines to help you sleep well. You don't want to be sleeping too little, and you don't want to be sleeping too much. And so this week, I'd like for you to learn more about things you can do to help you get good night's sleep, okay? So these are some tips for this week. Um, if you find yourself feeling really blue, if you find yourself feeling really anxious, it is important that you talk to somebody. Talk to your parents, talk to a trusted adult, talk to a friend. Don't go through these emotions alone. All right, I will be back next week. If you um, need me for anything, you can reach me through email, but I hope you guys are doing well and that you have a good week back. Take care, bye-bye.